なそんな人これ。Chili. Not bad though. It's like probably like in the 40s. Was mostly just indoor stuff that I did at home, just running errands and such. It wasn't too exciting. Didn't really leave the apartment at all. Like this is my first time outdoors today. This is um this is just a, a good reminder, a gentle reminder to people who still have their family members, you know, nearby or in reach or phone call away or whatever. Be sure to call them. You know. Give your parents a call every now and then. Um, it's good to do that because you know you got to keep in touch with family members. I, I'm guilty of not calling my family as much as I should and as much as I'd like to. You know, I'd like to talk to them. You know, more often. I, I don't know. I get busy. It's hard to keep track of you know all the things you got to do sometimes, especially with people that are around you. So don't let your job or activities or whatever get in the way of you keeping in touch with you know family not just family but even friends too you know I have I keep in touch sometimes I guess with a good amount of people in different parts of the country and the world just to you know say hi and keep in touch just to you know see how they're doing make sure that they're doing okay which is good because you want this network of people that you know that supports you and that you can support too because it makes you feel less alone um, it makes the world feel a lot a lot less big it makes the world feel smaller it, it's not as overwhelming you know if you know people in different countries you're like oh yeah my friend lives here in germany or japan wherever and it's just good to keep in touch and same thing with family members you get to see them more often you get to talk to them just share experiences get advice you know they've gone through stuff just like you have maybe not the same maybe not the exact same but similar lessons like the base lessons are important i just wanted to i just wanted to say that to people you know whoever watched this hopefully you know, it's good advice for you guys. So today's been a really foggy day. I don't know if you can see the Hancock Tower from here, but let's check it. There it is. There we go. That's the Hancock Tower with like a cloud around it. <laughs> it's kind of strange because it makes it look like it makes it look like an evil lair of some sort. Like one of the bosses lives up there, and you got to go up there and like save your family or what. So one of the nice things about living here in in uh, in, in Chicago in the downtown area is that Lollapalooza takes place here, and I've never gone. Now we have this chance to go, and I'm really excited about it. I'm wondering if any of you have ever gone, because my idea, my plan this year. Is to go all three days. Big fan of music. Those of you who know me, I love music. I love, you know, listening to all different types of music, different genres, just whatever sounds good to me. So I'm wondering if any of you have ever gone to it. If you have, what recommendations do you have for me? Because is it good to go all three days? Is it necessary? Maybe not. But I really want to because it's the first time that I'm going to be able to be here. I don't have to worry about lodging, you know, and paying for expensive hotels or trips to get here. I literally just have to pay for the tickets and walk down the street. Thanks. Appreciate the comments. Please like and subscribe. You know, 
just because it's a nice thing to do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Is it? I don't know if it's really nice.